Hello everyone. Uh, this is Milo from the VS Code Java team. Thanks for having me here to introduce our newly added GitHub Copilot based feature named Rewrite with New Java Syntax. It is a code analysis tool focused on detecting code that can be rewritten with New Java Syntax, including grammar sugars or built-in updated APIs to improve your code quality, uh, code readability or for better performance. Enough said, let's dive deeper into this feature with a simple demo. The process is super straightforward because everything happens rightly within the editor with just a few clicks. No view switching, no typing, and no additional information is required. To use this feature, please ensure that you have the right version of VS Code and the dependent extensions installed. This feature is currently only available in VS Code Insiders and the pre-release version of extension pack for Java because we are using some uh, proposed APIs. And as mentioned before, this feature is entirely dependent on GitHub Copilot. So please make sure that you have installed the latest version of GitHub Copilot extension. And of course, you need a valid license for Copilot to work. Once all these preparations are in place, you can start to try this feature with a Java project. And feel free to use this project as a playground for your experiment. It was especially tailored for this feature, but only for demo. Once the project is successfully loaded in your VS Code, you will see a new code lens labeled rewrite with new Java syntax above the name of the opened uh, Java class file. And there is also a Sparkle icon at the beginning of the label, which usually indicates that it is compiled based, uh, which is actually a undocumented convention of uh, VS Code. Click on this code lens will trigger the inspection of the whole Java class and send a request to Copilot. This may take a bit of time because the inherent slowness of the backend GPT-4 model. Well, with the recent release of GPT-4.0, which has shown significant speed improvements, we can anticipate that the speed won't be a barrier soon in the near future. And the Copilot will return the code suggestions following the requirements we specified in the prompt, which is usually in plain text. We need to process it and extract the information we need and then render them in the editor in the form of code lenses, which is exactly what you can see now. For example, by this code lens, Copilot suggests that to replace the traditional string concatenation with the Java 15 text blocks feature. And by this code lens, Copilot suggests that to replace the traditional multiple if-else expression with the enhanced switch expression. Click on this code lens will trigger the fixed process and bring up the GitHub Copilot inline chart dialog. You can then see the modified code as code diff we accept the suggestion and the workflow is over. Uh, inspecting a larger file usually takes more time and may even exceed, exceed the token limit of Copilot. And currently, the number is 4K. Or perhaps you are only interested in the code you have written. So in these cases, you can just select the portion of the code you are interested in and then trigger partial inspection for the selected code from the light bulb. However, if you have ever used the GitHub Copilot before, you would certainly know that Copilot is not always predictable and it won't always give you, uh, detect all the problems and give you all the suggestions in one go. And sometimes it may even give you the wrong suggestions. So in these cases, you may have Copilot to 
provide more suggestions by clicking on these code lines. Or if Copilot give you wrong suggestions or give you irrelevant suggestions, you can just ignore them. And we will ignore this suggestion just for demo. Although it is a correct suggestion, it is a good suggestion, we do just ignore it for a demo at this moment. And as you may have already noticed, instability is actually the biggest problem we face. It makes testing crucial but extremely difficult. Test automation is challenging and even impossible, and we have to manually test it repeatedly, but it can still make mistakes. Those fancy features used to require massive amount of manpower, large amount of code cannot be quickly implemented with minimal code and much less time thanks to GitHub Copilot. We encourage every one of you to try out this new feature implement it in a complete new way. And as we mentioned earlier, this feature is still in preview. So if you encounter any problems, please let us know through the sway in the upper right corner or provide us with any feedback. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.